What's going on, boys and girls? Hyperspace Halloween goes back with another episode of the Resident Rise mod pack. My name is John. My name is Hannah. I have no idea what we're doing today. John, come look at my kitchen. Okay. I can't decide which cabinets to use. Okay. I will be right there. Hi. Hi. We have the glass fronted ones or the non glass fronted ones? Nah, I like the glass ones. You like the glass ones? Should I do the whole kitchen in the glass ones? Well, I'm not going to do the whole thing, but. I think probably just these little sections. Yeah, just do half of one and half of the other. That, no. No? No. I no. like it. Anyway. I've been anyway. playing around with blood magic. And I, I saw you'd been adding some things I was going to ask about uh, what you're doing there. I don't have a stinking sigil with me. Um, yeah, I'm working on increasing the capacity of it, uh, because 10,000 units of blood is just not enough. You and your blood. I'm, I'm running a hospital in our basement, or a vampire blood bank, I haven't decided. This... It's kind of ridiculous, to be I'm honest. just going to let you do that, okay? Yeah. Um, needs a little bit more. So, to do blood magic, you have to cut yourself. And then this thing gains life points. It's got a bunch of, uh, rune of self-sacrifice under it. So it increases the amount that I get each time I... Because you'll see I go down hard every time I use it. So it increases the amount that I get off of that. Um, then what I'm going to do is I'm going to throw that stone in there. We'll let it cook up for a while. It takes a fair amount of time for that to go through, actually. Um, it's got to go through um, two more transformations. Uh, you'll see as it goes through, the blood drains down and the progress goes up. That's due to the sigil of sight. If you didn't have one, it wouldn't show anything. But now that I have one, it shows me everything I need to know. I have no idea what you're talking about. I should come look at this. I, I know enough... Well, I know vaguely how it works. I know about the stabby part, because John was... John had me come down here and stab myself with a knife a bunch. Mm. So if you're looking at it right now, you probably only see, like, very limited information on there. I, I saw a little chip. Well, that was something I'm doing. <clears throat> Uh, but, like, if you look at it, you, you only see, like, uh, blood altar, harvestable, blah, blah, blah. But if you pick up that thing I just threw down, and then go take a look at it. Oh, yes, it has stuff. You don't even have to hold it in your hand. Current LP, capacity, 12,000. Mm. Hey, you got a little more. And then, bam, you should have a little bit more. Stab yourself again. Hey, you went from 5,300 to 6,300. 600, 600, whatever. 5,000? 6, yes, 6,000. Okay. Uh, 5,000. Put your, put your cookie thing back. Here. Yes, please. They look like little computer chips. Like, I know they're, you know, calling them, like, sigils and stuff, but... John? Yo. John, why is there a hole in the floor over here? I don't know. There shouldn't be a hole in the floor. I, just I didn't put that hole in the floor. I just fell into the hole in the floor. That, that hole in the floor was not of my doing. Pretty sure it probably was. I'm pretty sure I've seen Enderman down here like five or six times. Well, that's a problem. Yeah. I don't know how to keep them from spawning down there. Um. I need my orb. Your orb? Yeah, I'm gonna go do some blood majory. Oh, I guess I should get the stone block things. Does it look weird? Yeah, I don't like that. Mm. Nope. I think it has to be one or the other for the cabinets. I... I don't know where... I don't know where I would have put the... any of the blocks. I'm so confused. Any of what blocks? Any of the... Oh, it's marble. That's why. 
I don't have enough buckets either. Holy cow. I am failing at this miserably. Poor baby. Uh-huh. Um... John runs past frantically for, like, the sixth time. Yeah, pretty much. <sighs> slam, slam. Yeah. Oh. Bucket. Oh, I don't have a regular bucket. I think I need buckets for this. Uh... Rune of Augmented Capacity. Yeah, I need three buckets. I don't know if I get the buckets back. I don't remember. I made one at some point. But I don't remember if I got the buckets back. Well, I guess we're about to find out. Yeah, pretty much. Um, so, what I'm making is... Um, as you saw, the Rune of Augmented Capacity... And you can kind of guess by its name what it does. Um, the Rune of Augmented Capacity increases the uh, capacity of the Blood Altar by 2,000 points. Wait, what? The Rune of... The, the Augmenting Capacity Rune augments the capacity? What? This is crazy. This is news to me. Yeah. How, how, how does such a thing work? Uh, magic. Augmented ca Capacity augments the capacity. Oh. Yeah. Well, that's why I said, as you might have guessed by the name. Mm -hmm. I'm, I'm just shocked by this. You know, you probably didn't need to explain it, though, honestly. <laughs> you deserve that. <laughs> why don't you go follow to that porch, huh? <laughs> Why'd you hop down in there? I could use some blood. <laughs> oh, is that how we're gonna play? Why does it keep going ting? Uh, probably your, uh... Your ring thing. The coin thing. Yeah. Have you taken any health damage? No, have you? <laughs> no. <laughs> I think I'm uh, a better shot than you. Probably. I can fix that, though. I have modifiers on this thing. Still won't have fire on here though, on your weapon. Because I have fire on mine. Clang. Clang. Stabby, stabby, stabby. We should probably stop before we kill each other. Yeah, probably. Okay. Truce? Uh, I guess. <laughs> For now. Uh, if I must. Okay. Now that now that we're done murdering each other, <laughs> or at least trying to. Yeah, not that either of us succeeded. Oh well, that was fun. Um, I had fun. Yeah. How much does that need? Cool. I've got one quartz. You know, let's do another one. Oh, no, it wants the full eight. That did not increase the attack all that much. What did? Adding quartz. <gasps> oh, no. That's yeah, disappointing. It, it didn't add very much. It didn't add any attack. Well, that's just ter horribly disappointing. Yeah. Oh well. Um. <laughs> I think can I'm going to move the. Huh? Sorry, can I put pulverized uh, iron in the smeltery? Yeah. Cool. You can also put it in the redstone furnace or. Yeah, there's plenty of ways to do it. Okay. 
try and uh, cast some iron here and there. Yeah. To help in the reactor project. <sighs> I don't even want to talk about that reactor. <laughs> I'm not even close to being done. It, it takes uh, a lot of work. Like, a lot of work. That's an understatement. Yeah. Just the sheer massive amount of iron it eats up is pretty ridiculous. We're still covered in arrows, BT dubs. I'm not surprised. Um, I need to get, once we get the reactor set up, I need to get a couple of dimensional transceivers. What do those do? Um, they transmit power and items uh, to and from dimensions. Oh, cool. So I can hook on up with the... I can hook one up with the reactor, one up with the uh, um, quarry, and one at the ME system. Cool. p 2 dubs you probably come to bed since it's getting dark, and I don't want to get eaten by monsters. Yeah. Not that we really need to worry about that, but I just... I'll shoot a monster right in the face. Yeah. It's just, you know, kind of unnerving to have a monster come up behind you when you're, like, working on the ME system or something. I yelled at... I yelled at one of the... Um, player mobs earlier. It was it was pretty atrocious. Actually, you know what? I I want to go level up my crossbow some more. Uh, well, you do that. Yeah. What are you gonna do? Oh, I also set up the uh, enchanting area. Um, we'll start enchanting before long. Woo! Enchanting. Yep. You know, I've put down so many torches around this area that you have to go around for a minute to find some mobs. I mean, when it's not a blood moon. Well, yeah, we just need a blood moon and to be in the desert. Yeah. When when it's a blood moon, it's monsters it's everywhere. But on regular rad. nights, uh, I have I've torched the place pretty well. So, oh look, there's a bit of red that I should get rid of. I've got a place marked fortress on here. I've got still got F7 on. Oh, it's the fortress we raided at one point. At one point. Yeah. Like I lit it up with TNT and... Oh, I remember that one. That one was fun. I think that was the first one we went up against. Yeah. I, I had fun with the, uh, the blood moon in the desert, even though I died. Yeah. It was still pretty rad. Hey, there's a witch over there. I'm gonna shoot her with my crossbow. I need to. Uh, I need to do something with alchemy. I we didn't. Oh no, it's another wither cat. I'm sorry, wither cat. Sorry. What were you gonna say? I was just looking at blood magic alchemical wizardry, and I keep finding alchemy ingredients. Mm -hmm. But I haven't done anything with any of them. I need to also start picking up these. Uh, floppy disks. I made a computer at some point. I don't know if the thing even works. Uh, I remember seeing it in the, uh, the ME system. Yeah, I don't know if it even but, works. Yeah. You keep saying that you're gonna play with computer craft, and then you keep not doing it. Well, I, I have a, um, a program which should control our reactor once we get it set up. Should. Yeah, I'm gonna actually just shove these in the ME system for right now. Um, it, well, I mean, it's untested yet. I haven't, okay. we haven't, we don't have the reactor built. Oh, I know. But you got it from, where did you get it, anyways? Uh, in between looking online and my limited knowledge of coding. You're able to whip something up that should work, we hope. <laughs> we hope. Oh, well. Where is. Let's look at com the computer craft mod. I know that these things probably need <clears throat> some sort of disk drive. You would think. Maybe not. I like how the computer craft in the game, you know, this modern game, modern computer game, with a, you know, a game in a game. Computers in a game. And they're old computers, like floppy disk computers. 
Good old floppy disk days. Not really. Oh, they were fun. Yeah, they were fun. They were fun. I remember them fondly. Let's, off let's, drop off let's watch me bumble my way through uh, a computer real quick here. I, like I don't know if it'll work or not, but... I'm gonna give it a shot. Woo! Advanced computer. No, I shove a monitor on top of you and a disk drive next to you. And let's floppy disk into disk drive. Uh, Huh. I'm messing with it. I don't know what I'm doing with that. I don't even know what language it's written in. <laughs> uh poor John. Yeah. Poor John indeed. I need more chests for my kitchen. Let's make some chests. Wee. Hey, you should go check on the quarry. How's that thing doing? I don't know. You know I'm still messing around with the computer. Oh, okay. What if I just made a regular one? Because I've got an advanced one over there. You know, I was trying to use that, that ME system. Well, I'm sorry. I'll give it back to you in just a moment, okay? I'll just take what I needed out of it. There you go, it's all yours. <clears throat> Thank you. Let's try this real quick. I, I don't know. If this doesn't work, we'll go look at the quarry real quick. Or I will. Where? Am I... Okay, there it is. Let's say, where did I put my pick? It's always something with you, Dan. Yeah. Always something with you, but that's okay. Okay, that's it's all the same mod. I just wanted to make sure. Uh, let's try open disk. No. I'm sure there are programmers who are watching this right now and cringing, clucking yeah. their tongues, shaking their heads. Well, I, it, well, without knowing what friggin' language it's in. <laughs> Yeah, that does make somewhat of a difference. I, I mean, suppose. if if you'd put the language in, then I'd be I might be able to make heads or tails of it. If you uh, researched your mod packs before we started them, but that wouldn't be very very fun. You you shut up. Okay, I'll shut up. I don't know what any of this does. Uh, and now I'm just wasting resources. <laughs> uh, we have a few resources to waste, though. I think we're good. No, I didn't mean no, to. No, it's the same thing. No. Okay, whatever. I'm tearing it apart. I'll mess with it later. I'll figure out what language it's written in, and I'll get back to it on that. Uh, hey. What? You you shut up right now. I didn't say anything. Uh okay. I was thinking things, but I just yeah. I just chose not to voice them. You, you stop that right now. What the thinking? Yeah. Uh no. You you stop that right now. It's terrible. I'm thinking about you, John. Uh huh. You stop that. I'm thinking judgmental thoughts about you. I know you are. You need to stop. Nope. Never. I'm sorting chests right now. Ooh, exciting. I can hardly contain myself. Maybe before long we'll actually be able Look to Look up. Eat something. <sighs> We're doing the dead mouse thing again. I'm also flying, so there you go. 
Yeah, what about it? Well, you obviously don't have to have the entire set of armor. Yeah. Okay, but taking off the boots did it. Oh, yeah? Yeah. Okay. Oh, okay, I see what it is. What is it? Huh. It's interesting. What? If you just replace the head... This is a bug, guys. This is a bug. If you just replace the head... You can fly. Like, if you're in flight and you replace your head, you can still fly. But if you take it off, you can't fly. That's fun. I wonder if that works with anything else. I'm, I'm immensely curious. Well, clearly, this calls for further experimentation. Yeah, this requires for further exploitation. Yeah, really. Oh, look at that. I got a steel chest plate on, too. I don't know where you are. Where did you go? I'm still inside the house. Where? Hi. Hi. You look ridiculous. Just FYI. Yeah? Just FYI. Just letting you know. I know. I'm well aware of that. Okay. As long as we're clear on that. Maybe it's... Maybe you just need the boots. I don't know. No, swapping the boots does the same thing. I don't know, man. Uh, Are you only wearing the one piece now? Yeah. Magical crap sky, you might want to get on that. <laughs> it's a little broken. It, now, now the ultimate test. Are you going to take off all of it while you're flying? Yeah. Wait, wait, wait. Where are you? I want to I see We're this. I'm outside. We happen to have a set of leather pants. Wow. What happens if you land? Can you still fly? Yeah, and I still don't take fall damage. Really? Wow. Yeah, watch this. I wonder how long that lasts. Like, wee. Is it, is it permanent? Until, I, I don't know, until you take a, I guess until you take a piece of armor off. But, like, theoretically, you could put on your Zavisio armor, fly, change your armor completely to something else, you know, say something stronger, and then just keep being able to fly. That's, that seems that's, a little, little buggy. That's the theory, well... I mean, if you take off one piece of your armor, like, stay on, stand on the ground, take off one piece of armor, and, and you, you can't fly. fly. Yeah, but if you do it in midair? No. Ow. No, if you, if you put on, it, like, you have to swap it. You can't just take it off. Mm -hmm. Like, you have to swap it to something else. But, say, if you take a helmet... Um, we should have some various armor yep, bits. Yep, we do. Okay. And put it on as opposed to taking anything off. Oh, yeah. Yeah, you can land on the ground and still jump up and fly. Well, that's fun. That's a bug, guys. That, that, that needs to be fixed. Yeah. Uh, well. That's fun. That's, that's fun. Yeah. Wee. Wasn't expecting to find that. I may just, I may make a bunch of obsidian armor for mechanism. I feel you like remember how tough that was. Yeah, I feel like this might be a bad idea. Why? I'm just imagining the the glitch breaking and then. Oh and no! I'm gonna keep the armor on me. Because I imagine once we save and exit, this will be gone. It <laughs> seems like a bad idea, though. It just, it just seems like you're asking for trouble. Oh, yeah. <laughs> Flying Shark. Oh, yeah. That's my Steam username. <laughs> All right, guys. With that, that's going to wrap things up here for today's video. Uh, and then we'll see what we get into next time. Yeah. Hope you guys have enjoyed today's video. If you have, be sure and hit that like button down below. Subscribe if you're new to the channel. Give us a comment. We love hearing from you. So any comments, any criticisms, any questions. Don't, don't do criticisms. Have. That's not cool, man.
Uh, we appreciate constructive criticism. Oh, okay. All right, guys, that does it for us today. This is Hyperspace Malingo signing out. Bye-bye, guys. Bye-bye.